good evening and thank you for stepping into the Fab Leyland. As always, I'm Fab Blair. Wanted to make this video regarding the New York Giants selecting Andrew Thomas, the left tackle out of Georgia with the number four overall pick in this year's 2020 NFL Draft. Um, early on in the draft process, uh, a lot of people had Thomas as the number um, three talent, maybe, overall. Number one offensive uh, lineman. With the uh, confusion that always happens with the uh, draft process, um, for some reason, uh, Andrew Thomas's stock dropped. Um, I think a lot of people had three offensive linemen at, um, ahead of uh, Thomas when the... Uh, conclusion of the draft process and the um, combine con you know um, happened um, having said that I thought a lot of that stuff was wrong I think Andrew Thomas is a world-class uh, tackle and I think he's gonna be a really good tackle at the next level Andrew Thomas is a really really safe pick which I like in this case I think the Giants definitely have a need at uh, the uh, tackle position. I think the Giants have zero tackles right now. Um, Nate Solder is a, a bum. Nate Solder plays like he's on skates and he plays like he has one broom handle for uh, two hands. Um, I think th this uh, selection of Thomas rather than Wills who played at right tackle um, for his college career and um, Tristan Wirfs, who played mostly right tackle, um, makes it seem as if um, Andrew Thomas may have a good shot at competing for the left tackle position um, coming out of camp. I hope he does give it that up, get that opportunity, and I hope they make uh, Solder shift to the left side. That way, you have a combination of Hernandez. Uh, Will Hernandez and um, Andrew Thomas on the left side of the line for years to come. I give this uh, pick a B plus, uh, bordering on an A minus. A lot of what uh, people said that the potential of uh, Wills at the left tackle spot or Tristan Wirfs um, potentially playing tackle is what Andrew Thomas already is today. Andrew Thomas is, has very nimble feet. I don't know what people like were um, very overcritical um, as far as his technique goes. I think his hand placement is good. His punch, I mean, is not comparable or is not as strong as a uh, Becton or a Wills, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. He's all around a really good tackle. Um, um, Sort of reminds me of a uh, tonsil coming out of the pro uh, of the process. I like the fact that uh, out of all the guys there, like it, it seemed like his weight is distributed well. Um, Tristan Wurst has like more of a freakish looking body, but who knows like what what um, how he'll add on weight. Makai Becton, I mean, looking at his dad um, when he got selected, um, he just seemed like a really really big guy. And we also saw Makai Becton fluctuate in weight um, during his time at Louisville. They said he fluctuated uh, 30 pounds at times, which is a little bit uh, dangerous. Andrew Thomas looked the same uh, through his entire um, college career, pretty much. Um, it, you know, the um, but uh, I thought it was the safest pick. I was surprised that the Giants went in the direction of Andrew Thomas. Um, a lot of people had them taking uh, Wills leading um, today, earlier earlier today, and I'm actually very excited that they took uh, Thomas. Um, it gives me more comfort in them selecting uh, Andrew Thomas. Um, leading into round two, I hope they double down on the um, line, maybe uh, take a um, center in uh, round two. Um, wouldn't mind a big receiving target, too. There's a lot of them in this draft, so that could wait. Um, edge, if they, uh, if one's there, like, I mean, if one of these good edge rushes drop, which I think 
um, is already happening. I wouldn't mind that either. But we'll see uh, how it plays out. I mean, uh, the first round is almost done. There's still a lot of good talent left on the board. Um, the last pick that I heard was Philadelphia taking Jalen Rager. Um, in addition to the Raiders um, taking the other Ohio State cornerback, I don't know why. So a lot of good talent, like um, like every other draft, um, is going to be there in the second round. Um, wouldn't mind if the Giants took Curtis Weaver with that second round pick, the edge rusher out of Boise State, or if they uh, were to get uh, Lloyd Cushenberry, um, wouldn't mind that too. I like Cushenberry a lot. I think he's the best center, pure center in this draft. But uh, we'll see what the uh, second round um, brings to us. I'm happy with what we have already. And go Giants. Peace. Thank you for stepping into the Foul Playland. Have a good night and enjoy the rest of the draft.